Wako na maproven zao four. Manje? Nine. Manje? Lapa po figa sebo funan el lotwa ube izwe lapo. So salatina no eight. Uma ngiti kufine kutisibe na machori te kuru. Kufine ke silungi sizo la giti. Hine nga se shulu kutisibu isi la ama province kwa kufo. Hine nga se shulu. So that, kunga vikona i western cape na eastern cape. Ubiyanse ni tati ya mi cape. Uwe kone yoto nji. Because le ekona Iyo le enzu kutukube kwa ni pati Ela apaya E pete ni lumpena Yolo ki pete Isi tata kutizwe la ule Uma says it Western Cape and the Eastern Cape come together We've got one province And the majority corner Eo figela lela lisu Yenizwa rasu Hei Nikulumi politiki mina Nikulumi tabi ntukchelo Nukufukega Nikulumi politiki nite taitu hile We had four provinces in this country and they talked about the other one which were then occupied by foreigners, which is Hauteng. We all know which one, right? So having said that, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about what Zuma said and I'm asking myself a question. Um, if, for instance, we were to uh, look or rearrange everything and then we now uh, suddenly have four provinces, right? How, what are the benefits of having four provinces? Right, guys, um, my pro I've got a problem with my nose. Every time I'm standing in front of a camera, it starts inching. So, yeah, you can see there's nothing in my nose. But let's continue a little bit now. So, what will be the benefit of us? Uh, I'm just asking myself, what would be the benefit of us bringing these provinces together? Uh, uh, this is a look, this is a question that you need to answer me, right? Or that you need to answer. But also, I want us to think of it this way in, in Western Cape. Is it Western Cape or Eastern Cape? I don't know. Between the two. That's the province, by the way, that Jacob Zuma says. That's just one and the same province. Eastern Cape, Western Cape. Make it one province. Full stop. Right? So if we make it one province, there is, um, there is a saying or there, uh, there, there's, a, there's a word on the street that says they want to make that province ne? A, 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 look, a, 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 an independent from South Africa. Right? So it's going to be independent. It's going to be a border. And by the way, Back in the days, there was a border valley, right? If you read history, there was a border. All the others, it was just one thing. But for you to cross from that province to USA, there was a border. I think it was still South Africa, but South Africa within South Africa. They want to reinstate that. So if, if you're hearing Jacob Zuma saying, we want to make it one province, I think it defeats that purpose of them wanting to uh, look, create an independent state there where it will have its own president and it will have it got its own currency and all the stuff. Well, I know that we've got our own currency here. And our currency is that uh, you need to subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section below. You need to click the notification bell so that when I post, you'll be notified. You need to like the video. You need to comment in the comment section below. You need to watch this video until the end. You also need to share this video. You need to watch the ads. Doing all these things, it's free of charge. So if all these things are free, then why don't you do it? I believe you need to do it right now, right here. Speaking about doing it right now, right here, there's, a, there's this thing that I want us to just have a look at it, right? Um, in the video description below, you can support this channel. Uh, they, uh, this, this channel is, it belongs to a media company. So there's a bank details for that media company. Surely you wish to support this channel, this channel further. Right. So having said the story of how they want to create and look, make it a sort of an independent state. Having said that about the Western Cape, I want you guys to tell me what you think. What will be the benefit, right? KZN is very big. I don't think KZN, they will, they'll, at something else, I don't know. Or oh, they will add the likes of Cockstart and all the stuff. Uh, what will be the benefit? And also, guys, it's so strange, right? If you drive past um, Montrose, yes. Montrose is under free state. <laughs> Why don't you be 
make it case at N once. You know what I'm saying? But the question is, what will be the benefit? That's that's what I wanna know. What will be the benefit of just getting this uh, provinces into just one provinces? Uh, uh, maybe just taking South Africa back into four provinces. Another thing that I want to to tell me, uh, I, I want you to tell me something in terms of job creation because I think a lot of people will care about two things from where I'm standing. Two things that are most important to people. The number one is job creation. People want to have jobs. People want their life to continue progress. The number two is safety. So if, for instance, police are patrolling and police are arresting criminals and criminals are decreasing, and that's what makes civilians happy, right? So if we have four provinces, for instance, does it help in terms of these two things? I, at this moment, I'm just asking questions because I don't have the answer, right? But I know good, these two are high priority because if a person is working, then they can afford to take their children to their favorite school. I'm going to be talking about a school, by the way. Uh, I'm going to be talking about schools, how the ANC have crippled our, our education. Uh, and Jimmy Tsar, that woman. Yeah, that woman is evil. Yeah, that woman is evil. Yo, never seen a person who's so evil like that woman. But today, she's not a subject. I'm going to do a separate video about Angel Mtsak. Right. So, two things that I know. The others are secondary. Like you having proper... Because after these two things, jobs and security in the country. People, when they move, these are the things that are considered important it is a school a police station and uh, it's a school police station and a clinic these are three main priority when people are when 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 you are developing a community then later on it's going to be a mall and there's going to be the road infrastructure and the others 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 but the three are are the most important things when you are relocating jay when you are asking advice from professionals they will always ask these three things P police dash, school clinic you need to know these three so it, it, it maybe it, i'm even helping you whenever you are moving or relocating these three things you must first check these three things it's very important clinic police school so you're making the country, you're turning the country into probably, oh, not probably, but four provinces, right? How does it help in terms of these three pillars? We've already named the two. This one, it, it's among the two because it falls at the police stage. It falls under safety, but we're just excluding it intentionally, right? We're saying people want jobs, people want police station, people want to be safe. So it must be known that in this community, you commit a crime, you get arrested full stop and you know talking about getting arrested under the current regime there was a research that was done uh, i will find the article i'm still searching for that article it was found that 10 people who committed murder right in this country only one is successfully arrested so you are asking the mk to say when you coming into power are you going to reduce the stats because it is very worrying out of 10 people that uh, kill people right only one is successfully prosecuted. These nine, they get away with it. Why? It also speaks up a political willingness, right? You're asking yourself this question, get to MK to say, we hear, uh, President Jehovah's Witness talking about it, but does, w will this approach help in terms of reducing these stats? Will this approach, you know, at least, you know the ratio that is, the health ratio is at least to have uh, seven to eight people getting arrested out of ten that's healthy not even five not even five because then it's the number is even so you can't say you can't really say it's healthy even if it's five but now it's one out of ten how will this help us that's a question that i want to i want you to ask yourself and the other questions let me sum it up and close the video number one people wants wants to have jobs and they want to have sense of security. You don't want to leave your house. 
and the next thing you hear that there was a house breaking and nobody gets arrested. That security that I'm talking about. You don't want to leave your child at school, the next thing your child get killed at school. That sense of security that I'm talking about. You don't want to drive your car and then you get hijacked and then your car is gone and you never get it. And you know, nothing happens to such people. That's security that I'm talking about. So jobs and security. Then the second phrase we are talking about, we were talking about uh, three things that are important. Schools, police station, clinic. If we make this, uh, or if we turn South Africa into four provinces, will it help this? Because there are places where it's difficult to access school. There are places where it's difficult to access clinic. There are places where even the, the police station, there was, some, there was a police station in Cutting Edge where they don't even have lights because in that area, there's, there's no ESCOM. You know what I'm saying? How will it help to bring these three things into fully function? Uh, there, uh, there's a place in Eastern Cape where they don't even have uh, bridges. They use, oh, so, so horrible, right? How will this thing of bringing these provinces, this making these four provinces help in terms of that? And then we all lastly looked at the stats itself and say, one in 10 people, one out of 10 people that commits murder in this country, only one will be successfully prosecuted. The nine goes un, up unprosecuted, right? So because of that, that's why we see the rise of crime in this country. Making this country or turning this country into four provinces, would it help these stats now? Those are the questions that I asked. I wanna stop this video here because I wanna go to a research. Now that I want to stop, I want to go and do a research. Guys, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification bell, because when you do so, when I upload the next video, you will be the first to be notified. Till such a time, good people, please take care.